Hello guys. Just a quick look at the newer Aztec like autopilot and X Plane 11 that came with the last major update. And one thing in advance, and from my personal point of view, and this Aztec like autopilot and X Plane 11 is um, rather the worst autopilot that I've seen so far. But let's take a look at it. All right, as you might have noticed, um, the good old autopilot button to switch this thing on or off is gone away. So I guess you better be careful with this disconnect button, because if that breaks, um, you probably won't be able to disengage this thing once it is engaged. All right, um, the way how you engage this autopilot is by simply selecting a mode. Which is reasonable, um, because you wouldn't engage the autopilot anyway without wanting to use one of its modes. Um, so let's go and select Altitude Hold and click on Alt. Oh, doesn't work. Let's go and pick Vertical Speed. It doesn't work either. Um, so it has to be a Roll Mode first. Okay, let's go to Heading Select. And as you can see, now the autopilot is actually engaged. You have to select a Roll Mode first and the plane starts to uh, roll to the left and stick to the selected heading. All right, if you see some kind of tutorial on this, um, they will always press heading select because it's pretty much the only way how to get this thing working besides pressing the nav button, but you know what I mean. All right, now that we selected um, a roll mode only, the roll mode heading select, the question is which pitch mode is actually active or is there a pitch mode active? And the answer to this is no. And that's pretty, uh, actually pretty cool, because that means that I'm free to use the yoke to pitch up or down the plane by myself. Or I can even use um, the trim wheel to change the trim sitting, setting, um, all without interfering with the active roll mode. Okay, in this case, heading select. Um, so um, pitching up or down or trimming up or down the plane while being in an active roll mode does not interfere or disconnect the autopilot. So far, so great. All right, but now uh, let's go and pick a uh, pitch mode in addition to the roll mode. I'm gonna select altitude hold. And um, as you can see, once the roll mode is engaged, you are, um, it is, you are able to engage a pitch mode in addition to this. And now comes the first thing that I don't understand. Um, if the autopilot allows me to operate the plane in a roll mode only, then why is it not possible, um, once a pitch mode is engaged, to disengage the pitch mode? To go um, back to the roll mode only again. Okay, So I cannot press on ALT to take back the pitch mode again, to go back to the first setting heading select only. That's not possible. So if I wanted to go back to heading select only, I would have to press the red button and re-engage heading select. But I cannot um, engage a pitch mode and then take back the pitch mode. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is um, that, of course, it is cool to be able to fly the plane in a roll mode only, um, but then why is it not possible to operate the plane in a pitch mode only? Okay, so what I would love to have is that I could now disengage heading select and operate the plane in the pitch mode, altitude hold only, and then be free to roll the plane to the left or to the right by myself, just as it works the other way round. Okay, um, and what is more, um, if not this, then why can I not at least disengage altitude hold by class? clicking on ALT and then disengage heading select in order to disengage the whole autopilot. Okay, <laughs> so what I mean is if I can engage the autopilot by pressing heading select, why can I not disengage the autopilot by pressing it again? Um, I can't find this to be logic. All right, but that's just my point of view. Um, all right, let's disengage the autopilot again for a second and now I'm gonna be stupid and just click this button here. And now I get the Annunciation Control Wheel Steering. What a surprise. Um, because I haven't pressed the Control Wheel Steering button that I assigned to my joystick. 
And let me show you the following. Now I'm gonna actually press the control wheel steering button on my joystick and hold it. And um, now I get vertical speed as well. So now if I r I'm free to, uh, to, to roll the plane to the left or the right or to pitch up and pitch down, and trim up and trim down, and um, the autopilot will keep track of my current vertical speed and um, if I release the control wheel steering button it will stick to this setting. It will memorize the vertical speed which is cool but the strange thing is that even though I release the control wheel steering button on my joystick this enunciation does not go away. Now this would be okay if it was true but this enunciation is actually false because the plane is of course no longer in control wheel steering the plane is in vertical speed and roll hold so it holds the roll angle if i try to roll to the left or to the right um, it doesn't work because it simply holds the roll angle um, let me do this again i'm going to press and hold the control wheel steering button turn to the right change the pitch angle and release the button and now it sticks to this position. And again, control with steering, the enunciation does not go away. Even though we are no longer in control with steering, what it should say is roll or roll hold, just like in the G1000. And speaking of the G1000, um, in the G1000, you would only get control with steering, the enunciation, as long as you press and hold the control wheel steering button, okay? And the reason for that is, of course, um, because that's the way how it makes sense. Um, all right, um, so I can't find, I personally can't find this to be logic in any way, and I can't find myself to like this thing. So how to get rid of control wheel steering, reselect a roll mode, um, and then you're in the normal setting, um, roll and pitch mode. All right. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.